Okay, another lesson here for my elementary STEAM students at Montclair in Denver. For the week of May 18th, you guys, I wanted to go back to a design, engineering design challenge, okay? For the first option this week, I want you guys to consider the classic egg drop. An egg drop, a lot of you guys have done these before in class. In an egg drop, you take a raw egg like this one and you build some kind of a capsule. You design it, you build it so that you could put the egg in there and you can drop it, say for example, you stand on a chair and drop it, and you want the egg not to break. You wanna save the egg from breaking. So maybe you wanna to try to take some kind of capsule or a container like this out of your recycling bin and make some kind of a capsule, kind of like the Apollo capsule or something like that. Maybe you wanna crumple up some coffee filters or some newspaper and uh, give some more padding inside your capsule. Or maybe you wanna try putting your egg on something like this, securing it with tape, and then trying dropping that. Maybe you even wanna to try to build a parachute. But the goal is for your egg not to drop, all right? Now please don't make a mess in your parents' house or your apartment, and if your parents don't wanna waste an egg, okay, they're in charge, listen to them. But um, make your first attempt at an egg drop, and then think like a scientist. If it didn't work right, if at first you didn't succeed, try again analyze what went wrong, and try to fix it, okay? But a lot of students are telling me that they don't have the supplies to complete my assignments these weeks. So another option I wanna give you, in case you don't have all the, the egg and all the supplies for the egg drop, is to make a parachute. One of my favorite toys when I was a kid was this Fisher-Price parachute where you could hang your action figure underneath. And I got my old school Star Wars action figure on there, pretty classic guy. Okay, and I used to have so much fun. I would bundle this thing up and I would throw it up in the air and then watch it parachute back down. Well, you can make one of these yourself just using a, a bag like this from the grocery store. Okay, this one, I didn't even change the shape of the bag at all. All I did was tie some ribbon on there and secure my little action figure on there. Okay, but you could make your own. You could design it your own way. All right, and uh, if you don't have one of these bags because you bring your own bags to the grocery store, which is great, then use some fabric, use a bandana. Um, try using one of the masks that we're all wearing for COVID-19 and put a little Lego guy on there, see if that works. Um, you could even do it with a piece of paper, I bet. Staple your string to the corner and see what you can come up with. But think like a scientist, think like an engineer, make your project and then test it and see what you can do to improve it. A third option, if you can't do either of these two, is to make a sweet paper airplane. Classic paper airplane like this is fast, the dart style, but there's some other options too that you can experiment with and try to build something better, something more impressive. See how long you can get your paper airplane to stay in the air, all right? Speaking of planes, I wanted to let you guys know I got 400 gliders like this from Gillow's company. They make some of the best balsa wood gliders. This one is called the Jet Fire. It's a really nice design, and I got 400 of these. I can't wait to give one to each Montclair student when we get back together at class, hopefully in the fall. Okay, guys, so no matter what you build this week, take a picture of it, take a video of it, and send it in so I can check it out. I hope you're doing great. Only two more weeks of school. I miss you guys.